Find this uh, reception desk for a front row seat, if you will. Hopefully everyone can at least uh, see this general area. Are the speakers okay? Speakers? Everyone can hear okay? All right. Well, welcome everyone. We, uh, we're so pleased to have you here. Uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to gather for something like this as we take a moment, pause, reflect, recognize the accomplishments of what uh, is an outstanding ed educator in uh, the Mariani. We appreciate uh, you being here and celebrating this with, uh, with us. As we think about uh, what it means uh, as an educator to do what they do and for Linda to do what she did for as many years as she did it, it is truly remarkable. And as I understand, we have several members of Linda's family that are here today. Linda's mother, correct. And raise your hand if you're your relative. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm Rich and I'm the superintendent, uh, proud superintendent of the Granite School District, and uh, we have uh, several uh, distinguished guests with us here, and we appreciate the support of all of you. We have our Board of Education members, um, where did Clark's right here, Clark Nelson, Chris Wynn, uh, we welcome Ann Connie right behind the post, former uh, board member uh, Terry, and am I missing? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, thank you. This post might be in the way. <laughs> so anyway, welcome and thank you for your support to the Board of Education for your current and past service. We, we truly appreciate it. Well, as we've gathered here, we're going to we're going to maybe do this a little bit differently by let's unveil first. Should we uh, let's unveil first? Let's see. Let's see. You've seen hopefully as you drove in uh, the the markings on on um, on the building itself. But right here behind me is really what will be the hallmark. And it'll be a reminder for those that pass through of uh, the commitment, the devotion, uh, the posh service, if you will, uh, that Linda provided. So let's let's unveil. Let's unveil right behind us and uh, we should have a drum roll. Where's James? All right, James. All right. He's taller. Ready? Three, two, one. A remarkable and a, a, a career worthy of emulation. So as, as we take a look and, and we're going to hear from several who can speak uh, to Linda's accomplishments as well, I would just say uh, while I didn't have an opportunity to work with Linda as, as a member of the Granite School District, uh, I was uh, or did have the opportunity to work with her when I was at the State Board of Education. I had the opportunity to serve as Deputy Superintendent and I'm telling you we were talking about some pre-K issues with the state and the legislature and funding formulas. I can tell you there was no one more fiercely devoted to pre-K and education generally than Linda. And so it was my opportunity to work with her in that capacity. And I can only imagine what that meant for the Granite School District, uh, for all that uh, she had the opportunity to work with, uh, because she always put the child first. And I uh, appreciate uh, her, her devotion uh, to that. So it is very appropriate that we recognize uh, this space uh, for that. Um, we have a, a program we uh, are going to hear virtually uh, per recording. Uh, Dr. Martin Bates, he is um, <clears throat> he's currently in Germany right now, so this is not a live stream but a recording. We'll hear from um, Dr. Bates, who had the opportunity to work with Linda for several, several, several years. Uh, we'll have some comments from Amanda Calton and Sarah Cullimore, daughters. Did I say Calton correctly? Yeah. Sorry, and thank you. Um, <laughs> Region 5 uh, PTA announcement, uh, Kimberly Swenson, and then uh, I'll, I'll finish up with some closing remarks. All right, Dr. Bates. Linda K. Mariotti began her career as an educator in 1971, teaching middle school English in California. She moved to Utah in 1985 and began teaching in the Granite School District. She held several teaching and administrative positions with the district until she was appointed as an assistant superintendent in 2001. She worked under Superintendent Ron Camp until 2010, and then I had the great opportunity to work with, with Linda until her passing in 2019. Linda was active in national and global education associations and served as the president of ASCD, the Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development, from 2009 to 2010. Not just local ASCD, international ASCD. 
Brown School District was fortunate to have Linda as part of its leadership team. Linda was a beloved associate, uh, beloved by all of us, fortunate enough to work closely with her. She was a master teacher and an excellent mentor to numerous educators throughout Brown School District, the state of Utah, and across the country. But above all, Linda was a champion of students. She loved young people. She's passionate about quality teaching and believes that all students deserve the best the education world could provide. She further believed that all students could be successful when given the right tools. I can't tell you the number of times she cut through a discussion, cut through a debate, cut through an argument by saying, oh, wait a minute, what's best for kids? That kind of thinking served well then and served us all well today. When Linda passed, she left an undeniable legacy of great work and accomplishments. Her influence for good will be felt for many years to come across Granite School District through projects, programs, and initiatives that began under her leadership. The Granite Technical Institute, this, this GTI stands as one such example of her forward-thinking leadership and her determination to provide students with the best possible opportunities. Uh, just a couple of days before Linda passed away, I sent her a text asking if she had any items for the superintendency meeting. Uh, she sent back message back that, that no, she had no items for that particular meeting, but reserved the right to haunt us if we made decisions that were not in the best interest of the <laughs> With that kind of thinking, with that kind of an incentive, may we always, may we always make decisions in the best interest of, kids, of children and follow Linda's example. I'm Amanda Calton, um, Linda's youngest daughter, and I first want to start by saying thank you. I only really interfaced with James Taylor for this whole process. Um, I remember well when he called me last spring, and I was just absolutely overwhelmed by the idea. I know, though, that many of you were involved in this process. Oh, do you think I need it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so I thank all of you. So legacy is elusive. The more we try to hold the word, visualize it, or put it into action, the slipperier, slipperier it gets. We don't create our legacy in real time, and we certainly don't get to enjoy it while we're living. If we're truly lucky, we live a life that leaves behind artifacts, traces of the person we were and the person we tried to be. The standing joke between my sister, my mom, and me was that nothing work-related was ever as scintillating as my mom made it out to sound. <laughs> She'd tell us vague stories over Sunday dinner, protected by CIA-worthy guardrails of confidentiality and professionalism, and we would absolutely roast her. <laughs> Working in the district, I was more engaged than some, but still, she had to bear the constant brunt of two smart aleck daughters who loved to tease her about how unfascinating her work tales were. <laughs> and yet, I think one of the great tragedies of death is you don't get to experience your own funeral, see the impact you had on others, and just bask in all that love and emotion. Sarah and I often reflect on all the people, so many that neither of us knew, who came to my mom's viewing, held our hands, and expressed pure love and appreciation for her. It was overwhelming, but we swam in it, wave after wave of stories about how she helped people, how she cared about their personal lives, how she led by example, how she was a change maker. The stories followed me for years after her death, working in the district, I'd get surprise emails, some with pictures I'd never seen from people who knew her and wanted to reach out to me with a memory or a story. Each one precious, some surprising, but always my mom, familiar and comforting. Today we honor my mom's legacy, and as we've joked for months, of course it's the tallest building. <laughs> Linda would never settle for less. And as proud as she'd be of her name on the building and concept that she helped create decades ago, she'd care much more about all the kids who use it and the people here today. My mom's legacy is her family. If you knew her, you knew of all of us. My sister and I were her pride and joy, but our kids were the great loves of her life. They are her legacy. They are what she leaves behind and where her impact can be most seen. They are the products of her unwavering love, attention, guidance, and care from the literal minute they were born until the moments she told them her final goodbyes. 
This tower, however, serves as a tangible reminder that what she did mattered. What we do matters. This work, my mom's life's work, was always about the people for her. The teachers, the secretaries, the custodians, the bus drivers, but most of all, it was about the kids. It's fitting that every day, hundreds of kids walk into this building and benefit from her contributions. She's here. I feel her in my bones. I'm so proud to be her daughter. And I'm equally proud to continue doing this vital work, family business. Thank you. That's free. Um, thank you sincerely to each of you for being here today. I'm Sarah Colomar, her oldest daughter. <clears throat> um, this, this dedication is an incredible honor. Um, it warms my heart and it fills me with a deep sense of pride to see that the light, um, which was my mom, shine just as brightly in the workplace um, as it did in the lives of her family and those who loved her. Of the countless life lessons that my mom taught me, one of the most significant, I would say the most significant, was that of the importance in showing up for others. Baby blessings, baptisms, weddings, bridal showers, dance recitals, school plays, book reports, countless sports, tournaments, and games. She came to everything. Um, it makes people feel special to be seen, she would say on more than one occasion, and those words became the key phrase that she embodied and that which pronounced her reason for living, I would say. She really did, excuse me, have a uniquely special way of making everyone feel as though their value and potential was immeasurable. So, in the spirit of showing up, our families would like to thank all of you again for doing so on behalf of my beautiful mom today. And we would encourage you to continue showing up, continue doing so for a, handle, or a handful of the things that are truly the most important, education, students, and each other. For as Ram Doss simply reminds us, we're all just here walking each other home. Thank you. the opportunity to come and um, on behalf of Region 5 PTA say a few things to honor Linda. She was not only a champion of students, she was also a champion of PTA. Linda understood that it takes a village to raise a child. She was very generous to PTA over the years. She wanted to help us give opportunities to every child in our school district. Linda also loved reading. The Christmas before she passed away, Region 5 PTA received a generous donation from Linda to be used for literacy in our district. That has been four years ago now, and the money just hasn't seemed like the time to, to spend it yet. And when we heard of this opportunity, we knew that this was, this was the time. So Region 5 PTA has matched Linda's generous donation and I am honored on behalf of, of Region 5 PTA to announce the Linda K. Mariotti PTA Literacy Grant. We will be awarding two grants to local PTAs um, to help with their literacy efforts. The award will be, we have two, two $250 grants and our, our PTAs will be filling the application out for these and then the money will be spent on literacy just as Linda had asked. This, this award application will be available December 1st, so we'll be awarding these the first of the year. I am grateful to have known Linda and to learn from her over the years. She loved every child and wanted them to succeed. Region 5 PGA is honored to be part of the gift she has given to our children. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda, Sarah, and Kimberly. Um, well said, well articulated. I, I just want to point out a couple, couple 
um, I think, critical pieces of information as to why here, why this spot, why this building. Um, it's been said that the GTI would not have happened. It would not have occurred without Linda. And as you think about what the GTI is, it does hold a special place in my heart um, because it's a vision that I share in that technical education space. And when the doors opened, there were 400 students that showed up, eager, willing, ready to learn, get that technical education. Today, there are 3,800 Granite School District and outside of district students benefiting from Linda's work in this building. I think it is fantastic and remarkable and a legacy of many things that she's accomplished, but certainly here appropriate it would be to honor uh, this building, this tower, with her name. Uh, it's been said, and I would say it also, that any time anyone does anything to help a child, to better a home and a family, is a hero. And Linda does and is that hero. We appreciate all the work that's gone in. And James, if you can just raise your hand, has been instrumental in making this happen. <laughs> those that uh, have made this happen, uh, we appreciate you. I would also like to point out we have uh, some students that came in today, our Pro Start students that, that learned their trade here to provide the refreshments, and uh, on their day off, they, they came in here to do thank you students for our students. They're down the hall, busy prepping, getting things to uh, work, and their teacher, Cin uh, Cindy Teggy, for, uh, for that as well. Thank you, everyone. Please take an opportunity to come up, read what's up here, see uh, her name on the outside, and uh, it's our commitment to, uh, here at Granite School District to carry on Linda's legacy. Thank you. So the refreshments are around the corner. All over here today. Stage right.